I am Joshua Isaac Ara Albania and I am currently teaching Mape at the Karohatan National High School. Hi, I am Chami Kabuso and I am a professor of arts in Adamson University. Good day, I am Ulysses May Montemayor from Pamantasan ng Monson ng Valenzuela. Hello everyone, I am John Vincent Pidendeva, a professor at Ateneo de Manila University and a graduate of Bachelor of Fine Arts, major in painting. Hi, yes. Um, yes. Fra Filippo Lippi was a Florentine painter in the second half of 15th century, perhaps the most important painter. And he is also one of the great masters in the early Renaissance period. He is a type of artist with tremendous skills and dexterity. He managed to strike a fine balance between traditions of devotional arts and current humanist influences. Fra Filippo Lippi was born and raised in a very poor family in Florence, but after the death of his parents, his aunt raised, for, raised him for some years, but later his aunt sent him with his brother in a convent of Carmelite monks at Santa Maria de Carmeline. The first contact of Lippi in arts is in Brancaca Chapel of the monastery, wherein during that time, Masakio painted and decorated it with frescoes. The portrait of a man and a woman in a casement was the first Italian wedding portrait. This kind of portrait were used in arranged marriage for the purpose of introducing the man to his fiancée. The features of the sitter is as notable as the impossibility of the room that encases the woman. As with the most later portraits, the female in domestic interior, the box-like shape, and steeply foreshortened ceiling of which are plainly adopted from the depictions of the Madonna and Child, which are the Natella's so-called Posse Madonna in the Buddha Museum, Berlin, and Enchegius Madonna and Child with two angels in the Museo Horn, Florence. The male stands outside the room gazing through a lateral window opening while a second window offers a view onto a landscape that, is, that it has been suggested may record properly belonging to the family. The motif of the lover cursing his beloved at a window is something it opposed in Renaissance literature. The sumptuous clothes and many rings worn by the woman are appropriate for a bride. In 2013, according to Catalin Prada, proposed that a coat of arms, upon which the male figure's hands rest, belongs to the woman rather than the man. The placement of the woman's hands, one over the other, is to achieve an effect of demure self-possession. The male sitter was initially shown with one hand raised below his chin and there is an overlap with the shadows in his face cast as though actively gesturing. Code of arms attributed to the scholarly family. Many assume that the couple were Florentine Lorenzo de Neri, scholarly, and Angolia de Bernal, Bernardo Sapiti, who are usually said to have been married in 1436. The sharply defined shadow cast um, by the male sitter onto the back wall relates to Pliny's well-known account of the, um, of the origin of painting in which a lover traces the 
contours of the shadow cast by his beloved. Two months and close space, confined to the domestic sphere, represented very passive. Man is outside of the space. Two figures occupy different planes in space, with the female figure dominant and the male in a subordinate position as an observer. He was not only an observer, but an interlocutor. Fancy brooch and fancy clothes. Man is looking inside and appreciating. The pale skin, it represents a purity. The woman's expensive clothing is the um, representation of her wealth man's clothes. No less expensively barged in scarlet and wears a hat designating his high social rank. With woman's beauty or looks, it symbolizes virtues. The high forehead is the um, representation of beauty. Hachi Chapel of the uh, Monastery. They decorated with frescoes by Masaccio and it is Lippi's first contact with art. Fresco, a painting that uses watercolor on wet plaster on a wall or ceiling. This method called reuse in Roman times and by the great master of the Italian Renaissance including Giotto, Masaccio, and Michelangelo. In 1432, Lippi left the monastery after he painted some frescoes in church and in cloisters. In 1437, Lippi returned to Florence and he was commissioned to do several works for convents and churches. Fra Filippo Lippi was one of the great masters of the early Renaissance and one of the most famous Florentine painters of the second half of the 15th century. He was a gifted and dexterous artist who managed to create a delicate balance between devotional art traditions and contemporary humanist inspiration. Despite a reputation for sexual scandal and odd behavior, he created sophisticated religious parables with psychological rea reality to compositions with an even perspective, excellent coloring, and detailed decoration. Before traveling to Spoleto and Prato, where he completed his career defining gigantic works, stories of St. John the Baptist and St. Stephen, Lippi painted Florentine classics such as the Annunciation and the Seven Saints. To inform you all about Lippi is a believer a patron called Cosmo de Medici, Medici where he has a little fear from the guards but he's been out partying and is clearly in a mood to talk. He even shared with many hardships of monastic life and also he was forced to do a secret relationship with women. Man and a woman in casement to relate to pandemic because we represent the casement itself as the pandemic and the woman inside the casement can be represented as the people na hindi naniniwala sa existence ng pandemic or nung, nung virus itself. Well, the man outside the case represents the people na may prior knowledge dito sa virus or dito sa ano nangyari sa pandemic. And yung herald dry na nasa ilalim ng kamay ng lalaki, it represent problem at a war or problem arose at a battle. Uh, it represents naman na yung mga problema na nag arose while happening the pandemic like kulang, kulang sa doktor, kulang sa facilities, budget, and hindi agad makahanap ng vaccine. And that's all. Thank you.